Right now, the problem is we're not making R and B. We're going deeper and deeper into the new hole of soullessness and numbers. People going in there, they making numbers. How many can I stream? How many followers can I get? How many likes can I get? How much love can I get? You know what I'm saying? Socially. That ain't what it's it's supposed to be. How many hearts you can move? How many goosebumps you can give? How many tears? How many babies you can make? Or they can make? You know what I'm saying? And um, it's not a musical formula. It's something that got to come from the spirit, from within, from God. You know? And it ain't this shit ain't a video game, you know what I'm saying? It's not like boom boom you wake up and you play and you try another move, you try another move. It gotta come from you gotta be in touch with yourself. And and there's not enough musicality. So that's what we gotta that's what we that's that's what we bring into to the to the whole shit is the soul. You know, we living in a soulless world. So we gotta bring the soul. So it's the first video of the new year and um, yeah, people people have been asking. A lot of you guys have been reaching out, um, which is, you know, I appreciate it. Um, a lot of you guys have been reaching out in my DMs or, you know, commenting on old videos, asking where have I been? And uh, <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to make this quick video uh nothing special nothing crazy just to give you guys an update as to um some of the reasons why i've been kind of mia um here on youtube and you know uh probably instagram as well or you know facebook twitter all that stuff so so let's recap on 2020 um uh, real quick you know at the beginning of the year, we came in strong and, you know, we started this community where we were making making progress and growing and, and learning each other and learning our craft and learning, you know, the different tools that are available to us um, together. And with that growth, it was really cool to see uh, how many how many interactions and how many different types of things that were inspired uh, from some of the things that we were we were able to come up with um, within this community. I know a lot of you have been asking about the Saturday uh, live streams, and at the end of the year, I, I maybe I kind of stepped away from it because of just the time, just the time that it took to um, set all that stuff up, or you know, go through all of those, go through all of those beats. Even though it was an enjoyable experience for me, um, at some point I had to um, I had to step away for a while, and we'll talk about that in a second. And one of the things that I don't think people have been talking about um, as much, or at least I haven't heard anybody talk about it as much, is the fact that um, 2020 was definitely a rough year. Um, I think for everybody, and just navigating through the aftermath of that has hasn't been easy for a lot of people especially creators um such as myself i know for me i've been dealing with a lot of different personal things a lot of different um mental health things that just you know some unhealthy thoughts some unhealthy practices that i have been doing throughout 2020 that really kind of took a toll on my creativity and you know again i'm just making this video because maybe somebody else might have been going through this or um maybe going through this right now i don't know uh, so with being a creative person i know some of the ways that the COVID economy has affected the um creative community i know for me uh, <laughs> especially on youtube even though we had the growth i got some love i got some hate but you know like the, the channel was still growing and the community still grew. So during 2020, I experienced some of the hardest setbacks that, you know, I think I've ever faced in my in my creative career or just even personally, period. And I think I, I can say that for everybody. A lot of the plans that I've had, a lot of the uh, sponsorships and, and um, contracts or, or even events have been either postponed or some of them even just downright canceled because of... Uh, the pandemic and 
and that alone have has affected me um, financially and even mentally just um, having to deal with the setbacks of um, it was just like thing after thing after thing would just <laughs> hit after hit you know things were kind of just like dropping off for me and goals that I even set for myself um, I kind of dropped the ball on and it just kind of made me feel like I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm feeling yet. I don't even know what I'm, what I'm thinking. I, I know I'm kind of just like rambling, but um, I just wanted to let you guys in on, you know, what's go <laughs> what's going on in in my mind. So, at the end of 2020, I kind of just like stepped back, um, stepped back from YouTube, stepped back from social media, stepped back from even creating music for a while. And in stepping back, um, I kind of realized that I had to learn how to be a consumer again. And what that meant for me was <laughs> I actually realized that I haven't, it had been a long time since I even listened, like listened to music and not just listen to, to pinpoint, you know, different sounds or dissect it or just listen to enjoy and not just music. Even, you know, movies and videos, a lot of the times what I was doing, what you know, in consuming content while I was being a creator in content was picking it apart and dissecting it and trying to figure out, oh, you know, the different mechanics of things or the different techniques. And I forgot to actually enjoy what I was consuming. So I took I took a break from everything and. Um, I had to, I had to learn how to become the listener, the watcher, the consumer again. And the re one of the reasons why I did that, because everything that I was watching had just become real uninspiring, real, nothing was really hitting. Nothing was really penetrating my, my motivation or, you know, I, I was just, just really hard to be motivated or inspired to, to pick up a camera or record or even p pull out any instruments and, and record anything new. So I encourage anybody um, who might be going through that to just take a step back, take a back, step back and re re reevaluate what it is that you're doing, reevaluate why you're doing it, um, and become a consumer again. So last year on this channel, we did a lot of um, we did a lot of tutorials and introduction of new apps and new new. Um, virtual instruments and stuff like that. And I do still plan to do that, more of that uh, this year. But I also want to do some things that um, that I have been planning on doing for the past couple, couple years, actually since I started YouTube. Um, and to be honest with you, I, I think I lost focus of some of the things that I had in mind. Um, I don't think YouTube was ever really my main focus. And as I started to become more active on YouTube and started taking YouTube more serious, I think the music and the creation of things started to take a back seat. Um, <laughs> so I will make more YouTube videos and less <laughs> less music. So I, I, I think that, you know, that that hiatus um, and that fallback was was kind of was kind of needed you know, just for me to, to be able to refresh and re recalibrate my creative, uh, my creative juices. So like I said, I will be doing a lot more music creation this year. Um, I don't want to focus on the YouTube format of things so much, but more so the feel. I think when I focused on the numbers and the engagement and stuff like that, it was, it was kind of, it kind of felt like a disconnect. And I don't, I don't want to feel that about my, about my craft, about, you know, anything like that. And if I'm not moving people, if I'm not inspiring people, then yeah, I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't really want to continue to do any of it. So there's some things that I want to try on this channel. And if you rock with me, then rock with me. I hope that you guys are uh, continuing to rock with me, continue to watch the content that I post. There's some, some things that I want to experiment with. Um, some vlogging, some personal things, some other things outside of music that I want to explore with you guys. So, like I said, if you rock with me, you rock with me. If you don't, I understand. If you unsubscribe, I get it. Um, 
but yeah, I'm more than just a beat maker. I'm more than just a YouTuber. And I want to kind of expand on that a little bit more than what I have um, in the past. So um, like I said, again, if you rock with me, uh, hopefully you continue to rock with me. Hopefully I'll still be able to provide some type of value to you, um, whether that be through music, uh, production, or you know, just my, my vlogs. I don't know if I'm going to do daily vlogs or not yet, but I do want to start experimenting more. Uh, on a personal level with this channel. So, um, happy new year. <laughs> Welcome to 2021. And uh, thanks for rocking with me this far. Thanks for rocking with the channel. That's, that's where I've been. That's where, <laughs> that's where I, that's where I've been. And that's where I'm, where I'm at mentally right now. So yeah, if you have any questions or concerns or just want to chop it up with me, hit me down in the comments and uh, let's let's chat. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.